developing now. A south side neighborhood is still in shock after a deadly high speed chase overnight. Police say it all started with a report of a man attacking a woman. Only CBS 2's Eric Cox spoke to the person who called 911. The harsh reality of a high speed chase hitting home here in Calumet Heights. Let me show you what we're talking about. Neighbors here left literally picking up the pieces after a deadly crash. Cars parked outside crumpled overnight, upside down and in the middle of the street. This is what neighbors at 91st and Crandon were awakened by a little before 2 a.m. Tuesday. But the situation only ended here. Officers say it started a mile away at this gas station on 92nd and Stony Island with a call about a man abusing a woman. Like he treated her so bad. CBS 2 spoke exclusively to the person who picked up the phone and dialed 911. And he was so intoxicated, like he was out of control of himself. The worker who was behind the counter when a 40 year old man walked in wanting something. He asked me for the condom. The worker says he sold one to him. And afterwards, he went back to the car. And after a few minutes, I heard someone screaming inside the car. That's when this employee called the cops. I was on the phone and she was crying, screaming. A 28 year old woman had gotten out of the car and come into the store. And she was saying like, leave me alone. And he was using B word, hey, get back to the car B. So the worker so dialed 911 a second yeah. time. As soon as I hung up the phone, I saw a police car was following them. The beginning of a high speed chase that ended horribly. The 40 year old driver striking three parked cars killing himself and sending his 28 year old passenger to the hospital. It's a sad reality. This worker tells CBS 2 he'll have a hard time living with. Do you feel like you did the right thing? Well, um, no. I mean, uh, I, I, um, I believe that if, he's, if he was get arrested, that would have been better for him and better for the culture. In Calumet Heights, Eric Cox, CBS 2 News.